So as we dive into this three-day review of numbers, let's take a look at the three buckets for advertising to really see maybe where you're at, where your particular situation would be at, and exactly what you're seeing in front of you today, where I'm at, where we're advertising. Now, what a lot of advertisers will do is they'll put in a dollar and they'll make four. I mean, great, everyone's gonna do that, right? If you can go to Vegas with those odds, pfft, all day long you would go after that. Well, remember, this is the very, very, very most aware, hyper-aware people, and there, there is some room for business here, but there's not a lot of scale. So I ask a client, I say, okay, look, if we're gonna start spending money today, how much money do you have to make today? And a lot of times they'll say, as much money as possible. Kurt, if it's prof profitable, we'll put as much money in as possible. Kind of roll my eyes because I haven't really tested it yet. And I'm like, okay, people are going to fit into three different buckets. Now, everyone's going to put in a dollar and make four. Now, that's going to be a competitive market. That's not going to give me a lot of room to scale because this is going to be the most hyper aware market. So here's one way to imagine it. Imagine someone's going to go out and buy a car. They've looked at the color. They've looked at the brand. They've looked at exactly what they want to buy and exactly where they want to buy it at. Well, if you're advertising for that type of car in that in that city, well, that's one of those things where you put in a dollar and make four because you're advertising to a really hyper aware audience. But that audience just at the end of the day isn't that big. It's it's a nice business, but it's not an overall scalable business. Now, what a lot of businesses are doing, especially with Facebook, is they look at Facebook as a marketing channel, not as just my only business model. Remember, Facebook is a marketing channel. It shouldn't be your entire business. Now, what a lot of businesses will do right now is they'll put in a dollar and get a dollar back today. Now, essentially what that means is breaking the evening, as I want you to kind of think about this. Now, you can decide if you put in your management fees into this or how that works, but what a lot of our clients look for is just an overall break even for the entire month. So if they put in $1,000 of ad spend or $10,000 of ad spend, did they at least get back $10,000 of revenue? Now, we're not talking about our fees, merchant processing fees, or anything else. We're gonna keep this really simple. Now, if we're able to spend a dollar and get a dollar back within a month, we're gonna be able to get leads. So essentially, the leads are free because we put in a dollar, got a dollar back. Great, now it's my responsibility for long-term follow-up, additional, um, I have to give additional products and programs or whatnot, but I got a bunch of free leads. Well, if I'm doing this right and I'm also making sales, well, now my sales paid for all of my advertising, my branding, people to see me. I got my leads. I got a couple of buyers. So truth be told, when Nick and I did our first couple of events, we were very willing to put in a dollar to make a dollar back. Now, events take a lot of time and money, but it gave us a lot of content for us to use as we're overall building our brand. So to go back and recap, remember, there's a lot of people who are willing to put in a dollar today and make four. Like, they have to. It's, I have to, have to, have to make money. It's a really tough situation to be in. And again, it can work for a little while, but it's not a long-term business. we got to look at Facebook as a marketing channel. Now, if we put in a dollar and get a dollar back out, either the same day or within 30 days, now we're going to have a lot more flexibility to start testing. We're going to have a lot more flexibility to kind of figure out where is that market at, but here's the most important thing. The customer must have additional products and services, right? A lot of people have to put in a dollar and make four because they only have one offer. They don't have any bundles. They don't have any upsells. They don't have any future programs. So putting in the dollar to make a dollar, remember, you're basically getting free marketing one done right. But what I'm really showing you how to do is what a lot of advanced advertisers get into, and this is where scale really starts to happen. Now, I'm just going to make a prediction. This is January 2020. I bet Nick, Itai, and myself will probably have one of our best years yet inside of our digital products and training and coaching because essentially we've moved from the first bucket to the second bucket, and right now we're in the third bucket. Because we know the value of our program, we know the lead flow, we know the cost of leads. So what we're able to do is we're able to put a dollar in now and we're actually going to wait 45 days before we make any money back out. I'm going to show you exactly what that process is, but now I'm actually going to have the flexibility to really scale. I'm actually able to outbid a lot of the current people that are on Facebook right now. I mean, come on, let's be honest, the belt method, it's, it's very unique, right? But let's just say I'm competing, I am competing against other people who are selling courses and products and consulting and live events. But again, 
if uh, those people are only willing to put in a dollar and get out four, I'm going to buy so much more traffic than they are. And people are going to see my brand over and over and over. Well, if I'm competing with people who put in a dollar and get a dollar back today, great. I'm still going to buy a lot more branding because I know my numbers. But again, the only reason that we're willing to go into the hole or what I would say is really to make this investment up front is we know our numbers. We also have an email follow-up. We have proven processes. We have additional products and services. We have additional offers like additional affiliate offers. We know our numbers. Most clients will be in bucket number one. When you really start scaling, you get to bucket number two. And really when the sky is the limit is bucket number three. And that's why I tell people you start going over to Google and YouTube and oh, it gets much more exciting. So as you see me make my decisions, I'm in bucket number three right now for our overall upcoming promotion. Let's dive right back into the training. <music>